Hello. Let's learn about the purpose and objectives of vital service life cycle stage, service operations. The purpose of service operations is to coordinate and carry out the activities and processes required to deliver and manage services at agreed levels to business users and customers. Service operation is also responsible for the ongoing management of the technology that is used to deliver and support services. The objective of service operations is to maintain business satisfaction by delivering effective and efficient IT services, minimize the impact of service outage and to ensure access to IT services for only authorized users. The scope of service operations is to provide guidance on the services themselves. Activities that form part of a service is included in service operation, whether it is performed by the service provider, an external supplier or the user or customer of that service. Service Management Processes The ongoing management and execution of the many service management processes that are performed in service operation. Technology All services require some form of technology to deliver them. Managing this technology is not a separate issue, but an integral part of the management of services themselves. Service operations is where the plans, designs and optimizations from other ITIL life cycle phases are executed and measured. Service value is modeled in service strategy. The cost of the service is designed, predicted and validated in service design and service transition. Measures for optimization are identified in continual service improvement. The operation of service is where these plans, designs and optimizations are executed and measured. From a customer viewpoint, service operation is where actual value is seen. People. All processes and technology are managed, they are all about people. It is people who drive the demand for the organization's services and products and it is people who decide how this will be done. We will learn about some important terms in service operation. First we will see the event. Event can be defined as change of state that has significance for the management of an IT service or other configuration item. Events are typically notifications created by an IT service configuration item or a monitoring tool. Event can be classified into three categories. Informational. An event that does not require any action, regular operation. Warning. An event that is unusual but not an exception, requires closer monitoring. Exception. An event signifying a service or a device is operating abnormally. Let's look at alert now. A warning that a threshold has been reached, something has changed, or a failure has occurred. Alerts are often created and managed by system management tools. Alerts are managed by the event management process. Objective is to notify the concerned stakeholders. Now we will see about incident. Incident can be defined as an unplanned interruption to an IT service. A reduction in the quality of an IT service. Failure of an IT component that has not yet affected service, but could likely disrupt service if left unchecked. This can be raised by IT support teams. Example, failure of a network component, failure to send email etc. Also it is important to know the relationship between the event, alert and incident. All alerts are events, but not all events trigger alerts. All incidents are events but all events are not incidents. Now we will see what is a service request. A generic description for many varying types of demands that are placed upon the IT department by the users. Many of these requests are actually small changes which are low risk, frequently occurring, low cost, etc. Their scale and frequency, low risk nature means that they are better handled by a separate process, rather than being allowed to congest and obstruct the normal incident and change management processes. Examples A request to change a password. A request to install software update. Let's look about problem now. Problem can be defined as the cause of one or more incidents. The cause is not usually known at the time a problem record is created, and the problem management process is responsible for further investigation prioritized in the same way and for same reasons as incidents. Next is, workaround. 
Workaround can be defined as a temporary way to restore service failures to a usable level. For example, rebooting a server hang. Used for reducing or eliminating the impact of an incident or problem for which a full resolution is not yet available. Workarounds for incidents that do not have associated problem records are documented in the incident record. Workarounds for problems are documented in known error records. Thanks for watching this video, and hope it is helpful. If you like this video please hit the like, and subscribe for more knowledge sharing videos.